Hey guys, Greg C96 here, coming at you with what I guess is kind of the, I guess you'd call it the 2017 wrap up slash welcome hello 2018 video. Um, so, I'm doing it a little bit different than a lot of people. Well, it's not the stereotypical first upload of the year because, well, first upload of the year was MHC because that was the first video. And it's actually, today is the second as I'm recording this as it is. So it'll be going up hopefully the third if everything goes according to plan. Not feeling super well today, so I'm gonna still try to get this edited, but I gotta do this one and the big box year and review four year anniversary video. Um, that one's gonna be a little bit more production value and it sucks that it didn't go up on the actual anniversary, but hey, crap happens. Um, anyways, that's enough blathering on about that that doesn't matter for this video. Um, so anyways, this is just gonna be a quick video to uh, it's going to do the obligatory thank you guys for watching this past year and helping the channel grow and supporting what I was doing and blah, 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 blah. If you want to hear all that stuff, you can go watch any other channel that made a New Year's video. Um, so what I'm going to talk about is what's cool and looking good for 2018. Um, so as you guys know, in 2017, I was not super consistent on video uploads, and that's because my work schedule was kind of all over the place for most of the year. Uh, because, let's see, during the year of 2017, I worked... Um, 2017 was kind of a slow year. I only worked five jobs. <laughs> uh, five different jobs, five different companies. Um, yeah. Life was crazy, as always though, as always. Life's always crazy. Um, but at one point, August, when I started working for X super large corporation, uh, I started working overnight schedule on back half of the weeks, and that really, really screwed with my sleep schedule, and made me a lot less productive during my off hours. Um, and I had to do this weird thing every week where for weekends I had to transition back to doing like a daytime schedule and then back to nighttime schedule when I was working overnights. So I was just like in this state of, um, what's the way to describe it? Like tired kind of implies that like I'm tired and if I go to bed and I wake up after like eight hours, I'm fine. Um, I guess like <sighs> profoundly tired, I guess might be a way to describe it. And I was just, yeah, like, I guess like constant exhaustion. Like, no matter what I did, whatever I did differently, I was just always, always tired. Um, and I'm still kind of like that a little bit, but it's getting a lot better since I left that company. I left them just over a month ago at this point. Would have been, yeah, just over a month ago. My last day officially was the day after Black Friday. Um, so I left there like a little over a month ago. Um, and of course some things have changed since leaving there. Um, the job I took was a bit of a pay cut. A uh, reasonably significant pay cut actually. <laughs> but I digress. Um, so yeah, I, I've been doing things like that to, you know, I've had to kind of get caught back up on sleep, stuff like that, um, in order to even think about getting back up to where I want to be on stuff like the channel and the weekly podcast and all that stuff. Um, if you guys watched the weekly podcast through my time there, I was surrounded by a bunch of idiots. Work was, it was something special. <laughs> um, you can see I was just constantly tired. Um, so that's getting better. So I'm happy about that. Now let's talk about instead of what happened already, let's talk about what's going to happen. So as of last night when I recorded this two days ago, when I posted this, um, I went and I purchased some screen printing materials. Um, so I got a pre-burned screen, a... Words are hard, apparently. <laughs> got a pre-burned screen, got some screen printing inks, screen printing squeegee, um, and I'm getting set up to actually start doing merchandise. Um, hopefully, today being the second, hopefully we're talking by the end of the month, all of that good stuff should be available and set up on the Greg's 96 shop, which if memory serves me, and if it doesn't serve me, I'll put a link here above the bottom of the screen. Uh, it should be merch, or gregc96.com slash merch. 
yeah. Um, so right now, if you go to that, it just says, like, nothing available, check back later. <laughs> um, but yeah, so going forward towards the end of the month, there's actually going to be products available there, which is cool. Um, as of, like, three weeks ago, I actually started purchasing the products, or purchasing the materials to start prototyping a product that I've wanted to make for a little while now, and finally had the brainstorm of exactly how I want to do it, which is really cool. Um, ideally, this product fits to... So it's a market that is unfortunately... It's Okay, so it's, it's a market that's saturated, um, but it's not saturated with quality at the low-end price. Low-end is relative, but... It's not saturated with quality items at the low end price, and I think I can do things better in a lot of ways. So hopefully that will be something cool that I can make and develop a process for. And if nothing else, just launch it under the Greg C96 brand. Um, make something available, make it as something that is available for purchase, maybe do through like a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo, that type of thing to allow me to actually spend some time and effort on developing it. But I think that could be cool and fun, if nothing else, just for me to get the experience of actually bringing a product through life cycle, which, you know, really cool. The way my mind works, I think that's really awesome and fun. Um, yeah, and hopefully that might open the door for me to tackle other projects like that going forward, uh, which will only help to benefit, you know, myself as I learn all these different processes. So that's cool. Uh, what else? I plan on actually posting three plus videos per week at minimum, which should be reasonably attainable since two videos a week or so are going to be the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge, <laughs> as long as I don't die and make day three not exist. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so uh, three videos a week or more. Um, I would like to do a few more vlogs throughout the year and more like actual filmmaking type stuff, filmmaker type stuff, whatever, however you would like to say it. Because uh, it's fun for me, it's cool. I've, you know, dabbled a little bit in doing some other type of stuff, helping with music videos and whatnot for projects. Um, I'd like to do more of that type of stuff. I think you might have noticed from the last vlog I did a uh, heavier emphasis on production value with that. So. Hopefully you guys like that one. Hopefully there will be more of that to come. On the process of filmmaker type stuff, another thing I hope to do this year, uh, trend here being this should be a freaking massive year for me with lots of projects, is I had the idea, and we've talked about it on Big Box Weekly, the discussion has happened on multiple live streams. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so it's talked about on multiple live streams is that I want to do a sitcom, even if it's just a short web series, maybe, you know, five, six episodes, um, 15 to 20 minute episodes, targeting it mainly as a web series, um, but basically a sitcom written and produced by myself. Um, actually getting like a proper crew on it, uh, getting actors, potentially. Uh, potentially me not even starring in it, probably me starring in it. Um, haven't worked out all the details yet, haven't even gotten a script going yet, but it's something I want to do. I think I mentioned it a couple videos back saying that there was more information to come, uh, but hopefully, if nothing else, by the end of this year, there will be at least a pilot episode for a web series that I want to work on. So that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, I got a lot of big things I want to do this year. Um, Ultimately, I would like to continue to, you know, just have fun doing it. Because if I'm not having fun doing it, it's not really worth it, is it? So, ultimately, that's basically what it is. It's more of the same fun, goofy, quirky crap that I'm used to doing. Uh, hopefully, improved production values and improved upload frequency and regularity. I guess frequency wasn't so much the problem, because when I was doing it, I was doing five videos a week. It's just a matter of when I was regularly doing it that wasn't really a thing because my year was freaking chaos so uh i think that is a good place to leave off on this one hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did thumbs up much appreciated thumbs down if you didn't like it 
I understand it's okay. I still appreciate you guys anyways, even if you didn't like this video. Head on over to gregc96.com, bigboxofgamers.com. Uh, check out the other dudes in Big Box, a.k.a. Tim. <laughs> cool guy. Does some cool stuff. Uh, I think that is about it for this one. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys oh so very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.